Hey guys, it's me again. I thought I'd play some Coral Space Program version 1.0.4, the latest version. Now, how to save file are in, in production, and it's just a sandbox save file. And so, here we go. We have this plan called Kerbal, and we have this launch area that we can launch vehicles, aircrafts, jets, and everything you can think of. This is the launch pad for the rockets and space shuttles. You can actually build special look a lot. This is a airplane assembly building. You can build airplanes, jets, anything you dream of. This is the rocket assembly building. You can actually build rockets and special lookalikes. This is the astronaut section. This is the administration building. This is the research and development and that's the tracking facility. And that is the uh, runway. Now I'm going to actually use an aircraft first and then a rocket second. These rockets have been saved and will be uploaded after the video. So I'm going to go to an auto save. And this is just a normal fire jet. But I'm going to get an engine upgrade. You have your controls, like your. You could do Capoli man, like unmanned. Or you can have pods. These are all your gas tanks and fuel lines. This is your rockets and nozzles. And I'm going to actually hit Alt and copy those. And for this demonstration, I'm going to actually pop off that and completely get rid of this. This will actually stay here temporarily until you make a new aircraft. So I'm going to actually take that. And this is just an example. I'm going to get a remote for this one. There it is. I'm just modifying this one and then I'm going to take this one and add more proof into it. And then I'm going to take one of the landing gears and hit Alt. On it. I'm going to hit C to snap it in perfectly. If you don't hold C, you're not going to snap things in just right. Right now, I'm kind of looking at problems, so. Let's see if I can get that worked out. Okay, so I'm actually have to go down to the uh, planning gear. This is stuff for uh, RCS control and other things like um, help your airplane or ship balance. Uh, this is structure tab. You can get anything structure in there. This is uh, brand new to 1.0. They finally added uh, heat shields. They have had landing gears in the past, which I've actually just had one in my hands, but I couldn't use it because it wasn't angled right. And you know what? 
a bank manager puts the angle on the actual airplane itself. Sort that out. There was a glitch where uh, these uh, landing gears would come up on top as well, but they fixed it. And I want solar panels, so they have solar panels and docking ports available. And I'm going to actually take solar panels and actually put them right here. I'm going to take a button and actually hit shift to turn the angle of them. And I'm going to hit alt and actually copy that right there. And this one's going to be completely unmanned. I'm not going to risk any of the kerbals. Once you put it on, like a remote, you can just man in that pilot, in the pilot seat. So if you want to test out an airplane just before launch, you can do so. So here we go. This is a much faster aircraft than before.
Oh, right now I guess. Perfect. And I think I'm just gonna put this thing down the ocean. Why not? And I don't even think it's left the atmosphere. No, we're coming down fast. I'm planning on remaking a fighter jet that I just made, but I still ain't override it just now. And I'm actually going to do that right now, so stay tuned. You might be excited to see the next airplane choice. I might fully scrap that whole entire airplane. I'm going to put a remote in. I'm going to put a copy in. I'm going to put that copy in. I'm going to go to solar panels. Times it dot five two. I'm going to put it on. Right there. Right there. Don't need a battery, so I'm going to stick a bag on the end. And stick a another two solar panels right there. And then align it just right. This cockpit is actually one of the first ever. Uh, trying to actually keep a dual cockpit design, but keeping it to solid cockpits. Landing gears, I think I might go up on the landing gears this time. On the sides. I like that one better. Okay, now I want to give this thing just enough fuel, so I'm going to use that. I'm going to use that. Sure, that. Yep. You always want to check and make sure it's both looking rocket fuel and not. Uh, Dyser. This one's going to be actually pretty damn long, so. with the right engines, these are. Just in perfect order, and I might use the, uh, these next cones. And now it's actually the, uh,
body structure, and I'm not actually put supports going down the rear end. my washing machine guards get a start up so there might be a little bit extra noise coming in but just to let you know okay so I'm gonna kind of shake this into a 22 wings which are a little bit more complex but they're going to be in between M22 and M18. And I'm going to actually put those round the corners. There's good. And there's good. And for these uh, wings, I'm going to put them a little bit further. Alright, so I can get some fast air travel. And that's kind of what I did the last time, but I'm going to step it up a notch a different set of flaps. Oh, that's perfect. Yeah, that's how I'm looking for. 
So I'm going to make sure nobody's jumped in the seat. And I'm going to test it right quick. And I'll come back uh, flat fired up off the ground. Because this is actually way too freaking long. So I'm going to shorten it. The more it has, the harder it's going to be able to control. So, going to take off that, take off the head of the fuel section, and then place this back on. And check out these little things. There we go. That kind of looks like what it did yesterday. But I used a short metal tank. So that's kind of an idea what I had last night. But then I changed the uh, things. And as you can see, it looks similar to a FA-18. Um, the 22, I'll have to include some kind of mod that would do the rest. And right now, I don't think I have enough fuel. Yeah, I do, but somehow the engines are not starting up. There we go. So, go back to the uh, vehicle assembly build. There's not much I want to switch out besides I need to actually, this is error right here. So I'm going to have to take off the wings. And snap them a little bit further out. Get these damn things off. As a matter of fact, I'll undo that. Pull that whole entire section back. Throw it into the trash. And use these. The game is starting to really slow it down right now. There we go. And I want to find the wings that I used earlier. There they are. There 
go with that. Perfect lines. I might go for another test spot. Let's hit this. And now I'll come back. I'm actually get it just uh it's like a test to see how the uh tights are holding up. They're doing good. And now I'm gonna start the wane step. If you don't know, these are actually multiply on the other side. So you can see. It doesn't matter what it looks like, I just want it to be nice and clean. And I'm going to actually try this real quick. I'm going to put insides. Yeah, okay. Just start the nest a little tiny ones on. You never know when this aircraft is going to fall apart. Straps actually did hold in place really well. And Should try this to keep the engines from blowing potentially off. There we go. Now, one last touch. Uh, it's in the aerodynamic tab. Usually I would do these, but these engines don't really need it. But what you could do is actually pop the engines loose one by one. And this is just an option. Got this thing called air purifier. Goes in, sucks in air. And then you can actually push your engines back on. And actually move your wings back. But I don't like that. I like it the way I put it. And I'm going to go for another flight test. If that spot test goes smooth, you should see. A safe I'll be and I blow it through a archive. I'll accept my own for a safe call. And coming soon, I do have two, two extra pockets that I'm testing in on one now. This is going to be a bad launch. I know when it's a bad launch, it's like this. Come on, come on. Oh, that's close. I thought I cut that one on camera. So I asked to look at my fighter jet design. I mean, fighter jet design. But you know what? It can't be a fighter jet without do it on these stunts again, so I'm going to actually go really high in altitude. And that should be 
That's going to be it because my mom just wanted me to do something, so I'll catch you guys later. Peace.